Hey, this is Steven from the Legit PC, and welcome to another parts build. So uh, today I've been really looking into the new Intel Nooks that have been released at CES. I was looking at the previous versions, but now of course the new Haswell uh, fourth generation um, ha uh, Haswell processor is out for these guys here. So uh, let me go ahead and get you acquainted with what a Nook is. Intel Nook is next unit of computing. It's basically a small form factor PC with everything built on board. It has a small PCB inside main board or uh, motherboard I guess you'd call it if you want to call it that. It's so small I probably wouldn't call it a motherboard. Um, but of course it is. It's got a you could have all different kinds of selection. Let me show you the selection here. You could have one with an i3 and an i5. And as you could tell, here's the fourth generation model, here's the third generation model. The fourth generation model is silver and has this ellipse piece here. So if we go back to uh, Newegg here, there's this ellipse piece. And that ellipse piece is an infrared sensor. So it's great for the, for the home theater PC. And that's what we're going to get into right now. So we're going to be building a home theater PC. Now what does an, now what does a Nook, why is that good for the Nook? Because as you can see, the Nook is very, very small in size. And you can get it for $330 and not need any of the extra stuff. And you have the infrared sensor. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bare bones. You don't really need to add much to it to get it to work. It, it almost works out of the box, but it is a bare bone kit or in this case a mini book side bare book size bare bone system so it's the size of a book okay so let's go what's on this guy so for ram you put a you put two 204 pin uh so dims which are ddr3l and if you don't know what ddr3l is ddr3l is low voltage so it'll only work at 1.35 volts at uh 1600 megahertz or 13 33 megahertz. Now uh, we're gonna go for a 1600 on this guy, but of course maximum memory 16, which is two eight two eight gig cards and two slots, um, and then it comes with two expansion slots. So a half size uh, mini card slot, which is for the um, either dual band uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled chip wireless chip, or you could get just Wi-Fi enabled, or you could just get just Bluetooth enabled. And then you have the full uh, full length card slot, which is where you could put an SSD. Now, uh, it also has one spot for a SATA for a SATA drive, and uh, Intel HD graphics 4400 on board. So that's really really great. This new Haswell uh, on board graphics. And uh, yeah, it's basically the size of a VESA mount, and on the front has two USB 3.0s, has VGA, HDMI and a headphone jack and it comes with a little small power brick as it's a very very low voltage 65 watts so um yeah so you could run uh you could run windows 7 windows 8 and use those home theater or just use it as a streaming or browsing pc or you could run linux or, or uh you could run xmpc i believe it's called it, you you should look that up uh, don't quote me on that um, is a home theater type software to uh, you know manage your stuff, and that I believe uh, I believe is freeware. But uh, Microsoft's version of the home theater comes with Windows Seven, and you could buy it as an add-on for Windows Eight, I believe. Or you could run Linux and use Linux on it and pay nothing for Windows. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so uh, also there's another option called a Bricks, which is from Gigabyte, which has a little bit different things on there. And they are the ones, the only partner to Intel that allows you to get a Nook type of thing with an Iris Pro graphics on it, which is a 5200, which is pretty high dollar onboard graphics that you could use for a workstation or high computing needs like video rendering so you could throw it in the trunk of your car or whatever if you're um, into doing stuff like uh, LAN parties or whatever and it'll play games or if you're into rendering videos on the go for example something great to bring to CES to render your videos uh, what else we got so these guys the reason why I bring these guys up is that they have more options as well as having the AMD one here's our AMD right here 
so you can see that they have some AMD options and some other various colors and styles yeah so uh, yeah so we're gonna go with the bricks the reason why is because it has the infrared and this time we're doing a home theater system so let me show you the build the build parts of this home theater system now one thing to notice as you see these vents here and you see how it's kind of tall the reason why is that these this particular one here if you notice this guy 34010 and then KH1 this is this is the same one here on the Intel Nook site and it has support for a 2.5 inch drive inside that's why it's extra tall now if you look at this guy this guy's really small so that's the difference is that this one has support for a laptop drive inside and this one does not and you can kind of tell because it's got these these little vents and it's also taller so uh, th we're gonna use this guy because it's cheaper for the drive and we can put a lot more storage than just being forced to go with an M SATA SSD so uh, let's go ahead and go back to our parts so here I have a Western Digital um, this is just a bare bones drive but this has all over three uh, has 320 gigs compared to you know the price of of one of those SSDs to get 100 gigs or 120 is a lot more so we'll get a lot more storage with this it's not gonna nearly be as fast but uh, we get that price down and uh, we have the crucial here and uh, then we have so, so this is the crucial we have one four gig because that's probably all you're gonna need for home theater PC and then if you want to upgrade you have room for another four gig and this guy is a nine uh, cast latency which is really good nine 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 twenty four and uh, then you see this guy this is the mini uh, PCI the half size mini PCI Express slot which has a combo Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth 4.0 combo adapter and this guy's got a built-in in antenna on the nook for you to connect to your Wi-Fi in your house if you don't want Wi-Fi or Bluetooth but Bluetooth would be a good idea because then you could connect a keyboard to it but if you don't want either of those then you could go without this guy and save 30 bucks and it does have a uh, on the back let me see if it's got a picture of the back back here it's got a cat 5 it's got a cat 5 port or a LAN port I guess if you want to call it that it's got that right there so you're all good and then also you see the HDMI so uh, yeah so you could either get rid of this or keep it and you could add you know maybe the cost that you get for saving this guy add another eight gigs or add more storage but you could also you know cut down on that storage go farther down but this is one of the the, the cheaper drives I found uh, for my quick search on Newegg but you see right there out the door four hundred and fifty dollars now um, uh, later on this week I'm going to build one of the smaller ones on Newegg here for you guys just to show you what parts I came up with it's about the same price out the door uh, 449 for it out the door I believe and that has but but you have half the capacity but it's with an SSD and it's a lot smaller of a size now remember you could also add it still has the same slot in there so it's just a bigger case has the exact same um, CPU in there which is the i3 I don't know if I showed you guys that that would have been a bad deal but it's got an i3 in there core i3 40, 4010U and uh, that would be perfect for our browsing and it comes in at 330 and uh, if you look on the uh, the Nook site here it has an option for an i3 and an i5 and then if you want an i7 uh, Br the bricks has got an i7 or if you want the iris then you go with the the gigabyte bricks which is brix but if you don't then I would go with a similar build to this but like I was saying, if you want an SSD, it's still got that slot for the SSD because this is the exact same board. It's just a different enclosure. So you could go with one with it with an SSD running uh, inside this case and a um, uh, SATA SATA drive. So you can put an M SATA drive, SSD, and a SATA drive in here at 2.5. Or you could go with the smaller one, which we're going to do later this week, that has just the MSATA, has no room for a 2.5, but you get that shaved um, height off to make it even more portable. So this guy is pl uh, plenty good enough for storing all of your stuff on there, doing uh, basic computing tasks, 
maybe playing a little a couple games or doing a home theater or browsing or editing pictures or looking through pictures or whatever you want to do uh, and it's got that storage of 320 gigs at 7200 rpm and then it's got four gigs of pretty fast 1600 memory so that will be plenty of what you need and if you don't and if you didn't see on this guy the big thing about this one I want to point out is this is DDR3 L low voltage will only support 1.35 volt so that's what this guy right here is 1.35 volt and uh, it will work in there so make sure that it's a 1.35 volt like this guy you see there the cast latency is 99924 all right so that's basically it so uh, this is how simple it is to, to have all the parts you need for a nook you have the hard drive you have the the ram and then you have the optional uh, bluetooth and wi-fi um, adapter there so if you want that bluetooth keyboard you get the bluetooth there if you don't want it and you're going to use cat and you're going to use a cat5 cable or a lan cable or an ethernet cable whatever you want to call it then you can go without this guy Otherwise, I would include that in there and have both of those, the dual band with uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And all that out of the door of uh, 450 bucks, and you're ready to go. You have something that could even be portable too. You could bring it wherever you want and have the, have the, um, have the brick with you, uh, have the power brick and the, the nook with you, and you plug in the next unit of computing, and there you go. You got a PC on the go. All right, so this has been Steven from uh, the Legit PC. I'd like to thank you for watching my home theater parts build of the new Intel Nook fourth generation. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. And if this PC isn't for you, stay tuned for the next PC build and stay tuned to the next uh, portable Intel Nook build and see if that is for you. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.